Hi everybody, my name is Aton and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Now today I'm going to be doing a beginner tutorial, so for people who really are just opening up After Effects for like the first time. So, um, this is pretty similar to what you'll see, you'll have no recent projects, and the tip of the day will be at number one, um, obviously. Um, so, we're gonna go into a new composition, and what this does is this just creates a new project for you. So, start by clicking that. And so, I'm using After Effects CS6, so this should be pretty similar if you're using CC, which is the newer version, or it, it should be pretty similar if you're using CS5.5 as well. So, composition settings. This, um, comp1 is the default name, and basic, these are, uh, you can just use a preset. So, a pretty good preset to follow would be, um, just HD TV 1080p, that's the quality, 1080p, and then 24, that's the frames per second. So that's just a pretty standard 1920 by 1080 and, um, 24 frames a second. Pixel aspect ratio, don't worry about that. Resolution full, you can always change this, just start off at full. And then start time code, that should always be at zero. And then duration, this is how long you want it. So right now it's set to 40 seconds. Okay, so now advanced, we're not gonna worry about this. Um, this should actually be set at classic 3D though, that should be by default what it's at. So I'm gonna hit okay. So here we are in the After Effects interface. So we have file, edit, composition, all these things. So file is where you would go to um, make another new project or a composition or something like that. And then here is where you'd go to save things. And then you can import footage like this. So if you go to, if you click file, that's how you can import footage. And any imported footage will show up here in the project window. And something important to note is that this window tab right here, you can go to workspace and so this is the standard workspace, but um, I've there are a bunch of different ones. The effects workspace, all of which set up the layout um, very differently. So, and you can make your own workspaces. So I'm going to be using um, the basic, the standard one for now. But if you're having trouble following along, you can always move all these things around. You can like click and drag up here, and now your project window is something up there. So if something doesn't look exactly like it does, you can change it, like if it like it does for me, you can change it for you. And in window also, if there are things that aren't showing up for you, like say you want your audio settings, you click on that and voila, voila it brings up um, audio stuff. So that's just good to know about in case you're trying to follow a tutorial and you're like, I don't have paint. Well, here, now you do. If you add that up and you can drag this again into anywhere. So there you go. So effects and presets is where you're gonna find any effects you have. So you'll just, um, it comes with most of the ones here. There are a couple, like you won't have these universe ones and video copilot and stuff like that. But most of these it will come with. And these are basically like different, like this is the simulation category. And so there's a thing you can make rainfall, you can make snowfall, this simulates things. So these are pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So then edit is pretty important because um, you have undo, which is control Z, a really helpful shortcut. Um, and all these keyboard shortcuts you really want to learn eventually because they make the workflow so much easier. Composition you don't really need to worry about. And layer, you can, you can get to all these things pretty much from somewhere else. So the real important ones are window and then file because you have like save and stuff like that. Um, so this whole thing is your project. Everything here, you can have multiple compositions in a project. So I'm just gonna do new composition and just make it the same as before. Now we have two compositions and they show up here. And um, now let's make a solid. So um, I'm gonna do import, which it's not really importing. This is kind of a, um, a misleading term because here you have file, sure you'd import that. M multiple files, you'd import that. Uh, Adobe Premiere Project, all this stuff you'd import. But a placeholder and a solid, those you don't, like, that's just like generating something. So if you click on solid here, um, this will open all this up. And then you just, it makes, what a solid is, is it's basically a square or a rectangle 
of just a certain color, and you can apply effects to it because you can't just put an effect on nothing. Even if it's a generation effect, it has to, like, where it generates snow, for example. It has to be resting on something. So this solid, it could rest on. So, um, 1920 by 1080, those are our comp settings, so this would be the same size as our composition and color. We can, we'll make a nice light red solid. So, press OK. So now we have that in our project window over here. So, now we can drag that down to the timeline. Now this is the timeline. You can see this tracks everything in seconds. So, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, etc. Because we set ours for 40 seconds initially, it is 40 seconds. So, if we play it, spacebar will play forward. There's nothing happening, but it is moving forward. And the second number there, those are how many frames it is. So, it's um, 2 seconds and 19 frames. We stopped that before. And since we set to 24 frames in a second, um, you will see that right around here, 23, 20, and then on the 24th, it's a new one. So these are really important too, because these are the different selection tools and stuff like that you have. So this is your just normal tool, like the mouse tool. This is your hand tool, which will basically move stuff around, like move your view of something around. A magnification tool, that's not really necessary most of the time. Rotation tool will rotate layers. So if you have that layer selected, it'll rotate it. And that is W, and the way I remember that is someone once said on a different tutorial, I forget who it was, W for rotate. So it's kind of a funny way to remember the rotation um, tool. Then the camera tool. Now, this is if you generate a camera, so you won't need to worry about that for now. But just do be aware that the ones that have that little arrow, I'm not sure if you can see it, below, if you click and hold down and pull down, you'll see it's like different versions of the tool. So, you can have like orbit around with the camera, move back and forth with the camera, all these different things are different tools. Your anchor point tool and all these different tools, we're not going to worry about any other ones except the pen tool, which will make a mask. So if you're selecting something, you set the points, and then that's just like a cutout. And then I'm going to control Z to undo that, um, and just con keep control Z until we're back to where we started. And the other semi-important one is the text tool. So here we go, and again, you'll notice that that has that little arrow, so you can hold down if you want to type vertically. But here, horizontal text. So let's type something. Hi, welcome to After Effects. Okay, so we have our text, so let's shrink that down from the corner there. And I'm going to use this align tool. I don't think this is originally with it, but window, just find a line, and this is a really cool thing to know about, because that'll center, center it, so if you hit those two things right there, it's perfectly centered now. And now, you can scroll through to your character tab, and then you can just pick a font. And a cool thing about this is if you click in there, and then you just roll your mouse wheel, you can just sample through a bunch of different ones, or you can actually click on the side and, um, and pick a font like that. So once you find something you like, um, there we go, that's pretty good. Effects and presets. So I mentioned this briefly before, but this is where you'd find all your effects. So learning the effects just takes a lot of time and a lot of experimenting with all the different things and a lot of watching tutorials. So I'm just going to use a couple um, right now, just to give our text a little character. So um, let's start by adding a glow. So stylized glow, that's the one we want. And we'll just drag that on. You can see we have our different things, our solid and our text. So just drag that onto the text. Right now it's sort of a black glow. So we can change this to alpha channels and just set these colors to colors we want to glow. So if we want to glow blue, just set both of them to blue. And somewhere like that, that should give us a nice little glow on the inside there. And then we can just control radius, which is basically how far it spreads. And you can play around with all these settings, intensities, what it sounds like, 
Um, a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. And then, might as well give it a drop shadow. So, drop shadow. And drop that shadow on there. It's a really ugly color scheme. Let's change this up a little. So I'm gonna use fill to fill this background a certain color and what would look better if we made this like a we'll just keep this um, black that'll probably be good and then we'll make this drop shadow white there we go that looks a little better so now you have some stylized text already and so the next, the last thing I guess we'll cover in this video is keyframing, which is a really crucial part of um, After Effects. Now what a keyframe is, is basically you're telling the computer that at this point in time, you want something to look like this, and at this point in time, you want it to look like that, and then it'll just fill in everything in between. So an example of this, we'll click on our, um, our text layer right there, and We'll just press this little triangle, which will open up its properties. So we can go to its transform properties. And so we have anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. And so opacity, that's how transparent it is. That's like like that. If, and I'm just clicking on it and dragging um, is, yeah. So we're going to click this stopwatch right here. And what that does is that sets a keyframe. So I'm going to click at the beginning, and then this keyframe is going to be zero. And then I'm going to go to somewhere around like two seconds or one, almost two seconds, you can tell right there. And then I'm going to set this to 100. So you can either click and type 100, or you can just drag it from zero to 100. And that'll automatically set a keyframe now that you've initially clicked um, that keyframe thing. So now, let's just click outside here so it's not highlighting anything. Press spacebar, and it comes on. And so then, this is just a helpful little keyboard shortcut. Hit N to end the composition if you want it to end there. You can always change this later by just dragging it out. You could also just drag it there, but keyboard shortcuts are more fun. So yeah, so now um, feel free to play around with different things, trying some effects to some footage you have, and try playing around with some solids, adding effects to those. Um, we didn't really do that here. This is just very basic, more in the layout of After Effects tutorials. So I plan to do more After Effects tutorials like that are more beginner focused. So um, please let me know if there are any aspects of After Effects that you find confusing or you'd like to know a little more in depth about. So, thanks for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to you. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.